Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is a look at their brand new Walmart, pause for grunts and groans, gold label exclusive, Captain Adam, Captain Nathaniel Adams, right? Lots of Captain Adam imagery all over the box. Now, I would say that's a classic Captain Adam, but it says in the box he hails from New 52, which on the back side of the box doesn't really look like the figure in a good way, right? Thumbs up, thank God. Here's the barcode. He is starting to hit Walmart store shelves now. But in the meantime, we're going to sit back, we're going to relax, we're going to grab ourselves a nice hot cup of coffee, make it a nice coffee, it's unusually hot this week. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Walmart Gold Label Exclusive from the DC Multiverse line, Captain Adam. And while you're busy taking the stick out, Corporal, I mean Captain, I want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. If you haven't already... Please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, Daily News Updates. Guarantee you'll have a giant heavy rock to lift. Now, here is Captain Adam, all out of the packaging. And I'm going to be honest with you. I like what I see. This is just Captain Adam, and he actually has powers. Shocking, I know, right? Now, I would say that these are nigh perfect for said Captain Adam. They're little clip-on effects, clear effects. One for the open hand, one for the punchy hand. I think it looks pretty darn cool. Now, I would say that perhaps in the more classic sense of Captain Adam, he has more reds, oranges, power effects, but it works just fine, especially for this version of Captain Adam. This is Captain Adam to me. If you go, hey, draw Captain Adam, boom. Red gloves, blue boots, silver body, little red Canada-looking thing on his chest. I know, it's the Adam symbol, but it's very cool. I'm not one of those where I'm going to nitpick the silver. I kind of like the whirly, swishy silver sometimes. I think it works for the body, what he is as a character for Captain Adam. What I don't think matches exactly is the upper part of the figure in that sort of silver to the bottom half where he meets his boots. I think it's just a little bit off. I think it shows up a heck of a lot better on the camera, which is, hey, that's... That's a good thing, but it kind of looks like he's wearing silver pants on his silver body, if that makes any sense. The diaper doesn't even really bother me, but to be honest with you, it's just Captain Adam, peg holes on the bottom, red gloves, blue boots, silver body, and he's got power effects, so really not going to dock this one too much. Overall, I'm pretty happy that it's just so simplistic. He's going to have that basic articulation, which we've seen. He does have a trigger finger hand, which I think that's where some extra hands really would have come in. They've been starting to give extra hands to a lot of different figures. I wish this was one of them, to be honest with you, but not a whole deal breaker, if you ask me. But the power effects are stellar. I love the way these clip on. They have designated hands, one for the fisty punchy hand, one for the trigger finger Maybe grabbing a gun hand, something like that. But I really like what they did here, especially since it's clear plastic. It's billowing off of his hands. That's a nice little technique. But he could have come with a flight stand. Here, let me show you. Boom. If he had a flight stand, he would have come to life that much more. So, again, as I'll say over and over, I would prefer flying energy type characters uh, to have a flight stand. I just think it looks cool, especially when you get him into comic poses like this. Or, for instance, it's Justice League Unlimited style, and you want to go up against Superman, right? That's kind of cool. Give him the old punch in the face, because he has a fisted hand. Something more Superman figures should have, but they can go up against each other if they each had flight stands, which the Action Comics 1000 Superman did actually have. In terms of friends or foes, well, you got Blue Beetle, and Captain Adam, and lo and behold, the new Target exclusive Blue Beetle just came out. It's more of a 90s Blue Beetle, and I think he fits quite spectacularly with this Captain Adam. In fact, if I will say, on the Superhero Avenue, McFarlane Toys has really been churning him out, from The Flash to Batman to Blue Beetle, and I really do think we need a little bit of an updated, more classic Superman. Totally just start new and go from there, right? But Action Comics 1000 does look pretty great. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, the Walmart Gold Label Exclusive,
Captain Adam. And again, thank you to my friends over at McFarland Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. Hands and a flight stand aside for 20 bucks. It's not a bad looking Captain Adam. And you can get him going up against big, huge enemy types with said energy effects, which I love that they included. And a flight stand, right? So you've heard my thoughts, so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Captain Adam. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if I don't talk with you, have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you all next week. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.